Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making a resin flower coaster, so let's jump in and get started. I'm using the Let's Resin Epoxy, and I let this resin sit for 30 minutes after I mixed it, and I just was testing the temperature with an infrared heat gun. Um, I'll link this one down below. You can get it off Amazon. It was only around like $13, so not bad at all, and um, I wanted it to be 41 degrees Celsius because the temperature of your resin 100% makes a difference on how your flower coasters turn out. So I just poured in that three ounces of resin that I had at 41 degrees Celsius, dropped down about seven drops of purple alcohol ink. I'm just going to give that a swirl with my silicone paintbrush and then we'll be ready to go in and draw our flower petals. This is a super easy design, super easy to make. The hardest part is just waiting for your resin to hit that magic temperature. Um, so if you can, just be patient, keep testing it with your heat gun and or your infrared heat gun and let it hit that 41 degrees Celsius and you'll get some really pretty flowers. And um, I wanted to pour some of my white into this little cup here. You can get these from Let's Resin. I will link them down below along with my coupon code. They're really great for pouring and getting a nice controlled pour. And I'm just gonna draw five large petals and then I'm gonna draw five smaller petals underneath that. And my white was mixed up at the same time as my clear, so it is also 41 degrees Celsius. And this is the Angel White Epoxy Paste from Laura's Art Corner. It's the best white that I have found for making resin flower coasters. I highly recommend it. It works really great for these. And to mix up my white, all I do is just take my stir stick, mix it up inside my product container, scrape off the excess, and use the tiny, tiny bit that's left on my stir stick in one ounce of clear resin. It does not take much white at all and then you'll be good to go. And I'll link a tutorial down below showing exactly how I mix my white. If you want to go check that out, I'll link it down below. I did a little swirl in the center, let it dry overnight, here we are the next day just filling the mold up the rest of the way with some clear resin. I was really loving how this flower looked from the top side and I like to underfill my molds slightly on that first pour because you never really know which side you're going to like better. So if you do it this way you can use either side as the top or the bottom of your piece. I know it takes an extra day but for me it's easier to do it this way while it's inside the mold than demolding it and doing a top coat. So I'm just smoothing out that clear, pushing it right up to the edge of my coaster mold, making sure that every spot in that mold is covered with clear. I'm gonna hit it with my heat gun to pop bubbles. And I was considering dropping down a little sunflower resin foil or a real daisy, but I decided not to. I really, really liked how it was looking just how it was, just like this. Um, so I decided not to add anything to the center of this one, let it dry overnight. Here we are ready to demold it. I think it turned out so gorgeous. I just love the shape of the petals. It really, really looks like a gorgeous flower. The back side I'm not crazy about. It is still pretty, but um, for me, the top side I prefer over the back side. But let me know what you guys think. I hope you give this a try. Um, if you've been making resin flower coasters, I highly, highly recommend getting an infrared temperature gun to check the temperature of your resin because I promise you it really does make a difference um, in how your flower coasters turn out. You really want your resin to be that magic number at 41 degrees Celsius. But thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll link all the materials I used down below in the description box along with any coupon codes that I have. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much. I hope you're all doing fantastic and I'll see you soon for another video. Bye guys.